let me tell y'all this 2016 incident with the um, Scorpio that I was dating. So I'm over there one day. Matter of fact, it was her roommate's birthday and her roommate happens to be her cousin. So I'm in the room with my girlfriend, who's also a Scorpio, with the door closed. She sleep though. My girlfriend sleep. And her cousin is partying outside the room in the kitchen with niggas. <laughs> a lot of niggas. I could hear their voices and, and the liquor bottles and the weed and the debauchery that was going on, right? They turning up. They having a, a great time, as they should, because it was her cousin's birthday. I'm in my room, like, not my room, her room. But I'm like, I could leave. But then I would wake my girlfriend up and I wasn't trying to wake her up. So, right. So I'm chilling, right? I'm on my phone. I'm playing Mario Brothers. I'm doing all kind of shit to just blow time, you know, and for her to wake up and for me to dip. Not that I was held hostage there or anything, but I had weed. <laughs> I ain't had no reason to dip and I ain't had no interest in meeting the niggas that was there for her cousin either, even though I, I could have if I wanted to, but I didn't. I always had an issue with my girlfriend and her roommate cousin on a thought shit. Cause I always say like females that don't hang with nothing but niggas, that's a problem for me. Of course it's not for them, but it's a problem for me. So they out there partying y'all, they having fun. You, they drinking bottles, they smoking weed. Great, I'm cool with all of that. It's just, like I said, I wasn't trying to meet them niggas. So. Time flies, right? Time flies. These niggas then left. And her cousin then went in her room and went to sleep or trying to, you know, uh, sober up. Who knows? I don't know. I didn't see her cousin for the rest of the night. Let's just say that. So I'm about to leave, right? My girl looking at me and shit, and she's like getting emotional and shit. And I'm looking at her like, what the fuck wrong with you? And she's like... She really started crying, y'all, while I was about to walk to the car. So I had to stop. Like, oh, here we go. What's what's your problem? And she's like, uh, I just feel like I can't hang out with none of my friends ever since me and you've been together. I'm like, you talking about them niggas that was just here? <laughs> and she's like, no, I'm talking about my male friends, period. I'm like, I never told you you couldn't hang out with your male friends. What the fuck is you talking about? She's like, yeah, but you act like you got a problem with them. I'm like, I told you that I normally don't trust women that hang with mostly niggas. And, and I had only seen two, only two of her female friends, y'all. But about 10 niggas. <laughs> That's just a million man march. It was more than 10. I'm actually being nice while I'm telling this story, y'all. So I'm like, but bitch, you crying? You crying? You proving my point that you usually be fucking with them niggas when I'm not around. If you crying because you missed all the action. It, like as if it was my fault that the bitch was too tired and, and stayed asleep the whole time. I'm like, what would realistically people tell me in the comment section, what was I supposed to do as her boyfriend? Like shake her and wake her up. Like, Hey, you know, them niggas out there, you better get out there and get to dancing and get to twerking and having fun with them. You know what I'm saying? Just cause you, my girlfriend don't mean you shouldn't turn up. You know what I'm saying? I can leave so you can have fun with them and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like what? Because realistically, if she wanted to do that, I'd have been like, yeah, you can have fun with them. But not as my girlfriend. We can break up right the fuck now. And I'll leave. And you do whatever y'all normally do in the whole house. Because uh, clearly you and your cousin is hoes. So she, she didn't like how I responded to her little crocodile tears. Which maybe they wouldn't cry. Them probably was genuine tears. Because I think now, when my tarot card readers be saying that bitch an alcoholic, like... You knew that. I already knew that. That's why I be believing the readings be true. Like, yeah. She was mad because, y'all, when we came out that room, all you seen was empty liquor bottles. You could tell. It was like 10 empty liquor bottles on that kitchen table. She like, damn. She missed all the fun because she slept through that shit. And I'm like, I'm not hurt. I can buy my own bottles. Like, I had money at the time. Even though I was unemployed, I still had money. So it was like, you not mad because you didn't get to drink the liquor. You mad because you ain't get to fuck with them niggas. Red flags, like I'm saying, y'all. So, you know, it, it was just crazy. It was a lot of things where it was like, 
you wasted a whole year with this bitch and you knew she couldn't be trusted on top of the fact that y'all her baby daddy would always be over there this nigga in the kitchen on some chef boy rd shit and it pissed me off because he could actually cook good so that nigga had me eating greens and i don't eat greens he like chopped them up in some rice one day and i was eating that shit. i'm like tell him to leave but leave the food <laughs> so it was like you gotta deal with her baby daddy she had some nigga who was dropping her off after work who would just linger and like wait for her to cook and shit i'm like you got you got three niggas you got a you got a uh me your boyfriend you got your baby daddy and you got your work husband, the nigga who dropped you off after work. Like, of course I don't fucking trust you. On top of shit like this. It's three in the morning and this bitch crying like you delaying me from driving to fucking Waterford. And we on Woodward. I'm like, bitch, this, this is not close. On top of she would be calling me in the morning talking about, can you give me a ride to work? Nah, bitch, tell one of them niggas you want to get drunk with to drive you to work. Or your work husband or your baby daddy. Why is it everything was coming from me, y'all? That's why she was taking advantage of my kindness, of my pure heart. She had to fucking go. She had to go. I can't ignore all the red flags, man. Using my bridge card, telling me to go pick up her weed, like just. But you got a problem that I was driving another bitch car. But you always asking for me to give you rides to work. And get your weed and do all this other shit. It's not a problem when you need me to take you to the grocery store or do something with you. But that's what she would do if I would say, yo, baby daddy always there. Yeah, but you be driving old girl car and you live where? So the fuck what? So what? <laughs> you, we need that car. And on top of that, she was getting her baby daddy car from time to time. Like, oh, it's okay when you do it. What the fuck, man? She had to go. So got ready, and that's just one story, y'all. I'm telling y'all. Her auntie would come over there on some drunk shit. So, like, she come from a bloodline of alcoholic thought bitches. And it's sad because she had two daughters. I'm like, I hope that's not what you and your uh cousin go be training your daughters to do is be uh young hoes in training. <laughs> Cause what else can you teach them when you got them in that kind of environment of, of weed smoking and, and liquor drinking and all of it? That's all they see that shit. So, and her baby daddy, it, it wasn't even no point for that nigga to be there, man. Like, you, you, I remember he was there on one of her daughter's birthdays. I got her daughter a cake with my bridge card, and this nigga didn't bring nothing. I'm like, you shouldn't even uh, showed up if you ain't come bearing gifts for your daughter, nigga. Why are you even here? You know, that cake look good, man. I don't want to be like, bitch, nigga, get the fuck on. Nigga, you, nah, nigga, I pay for that shit. I just ain't want to be mean. To her father in front of uh the daughter. Because I had a real good relationship with the two daughters. Matter of fact, them the only ones I actually think about. I don't even think about my ex-girlfriend. I hope her daughters are doing okay. But, you know, it is what it is. After that shit, I'm never dating another uh scorpion after that. Because that bitch, she, she was just so low vibrational. I just, I can't do it. Unless I meet a, a scorpion that just shows me it's equal give and take, I can't do it.